welcome back to my channel if this is your first visit hi i'm elena and this is the organized money where we talk about planning life and managing money today's video is going to be on how to set up a vacation budget my husband and i are traveling soon we are going to visit his family for thanksgiving and you know we have two toddler girls who are seven and five and so i wanted to show you how we set up our budget for traveling for a family of four so i'm going to be sharing five tips to help you set up a vacation budget and also walk you through how I have set up my own personal budget. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you want to do is decide on the areas that you're going to need for your upcoming travel. Mine included four main areas which were transportation, lodging, entertainment and food and under those main areas i also decided smaller areas that fit under that category for instance under transportation i also had airfare airport parking uber car rental gasoline tolls and tips and anything else that was miscellaneous that may come up so if you happen to have lodging you may also have a hotel you may have um, tips or different things that you need to do while you're at the hotel maybe a Wi-Fi expense. With us in our upcoming travel, our lodging will be with family. So I am expecting to get like a $100 gift card just to family members for letting us stay there, but I won't need any hotel expenses. But the idea here is to put all of the different things that you will need under each category. So for our lodging, we only have the $100 for family accommodations. And then I have the third category of food and drink. Anytime we travel, food and drink is a very big expense. So I have broken it down even further into subcategories. Ours are restaurant and meals, coffee and treats, snacks and water, and also groceries. I always like to add a line item for groceries because we are staying with family. I want to make sure that I'm able to either replace the things that we have eaten, our kids have eaten, or to chip in if we decide to cook breakfast instead of going out. And the last category on our vacation budget is our entertainment, which is only going to include shopping and clothing. Now, these are two different categories for us because under clothing, I'm adding some things that the girls are going to need to purchase for the trip that we don't normally have. I live in New Orleans and New Orleans doesn't get unusually cold. It's pretty warm here all year round. The coldest it might get is like maybe in the 60s or sometimes in the 50s. And so with that being said, our girls don't usually need gloves or really heavy coats. However, when we do go to Maryland, which is where my husband is from, we always need to purchase the girls gloves, hats, coats, scarves, all of that kind of stuff. So I've added an additional line item for of like $30 just to purchase um, some gloves, hats, and scarves for the girls. I've also added an additional line item for shopping of $50 just in case we need it and a toiletry slash other category of $50 also and that's just for our travel toiletries. Now, I don't have much going on in the entertainment category, but that's because I'm not expecting to do much shopping while I'm on this trip. We are expecting to just stay with family, kind of hang out and um, just eat and enjoy each other. So I'm not really planning on doing a lot of shopping while there. So that's why this category is pretty minimal on the budget. As far as my estimated amount for each one of these categories, I am basically going off of history, off of how much we have spent every time we have gone up there before. If you are going somewhere where you have never gone before, you wanna research these costs, look at the area where you are going and see what the averages are for that particular area. One thing that we do use for our airfare is a Southwest credit card in order to make sure we are able to use the points for our travel. Now you definitely have to be careful if you decide to use this system because the interest on this card is quite high. 
But if you have the discipline to pay off your card and you travel often and you don't mind using one airline, then this is a great way to be able to go different places without paying much for airfare. Because I have been using this card over the past year, I was able to pay for all four of our flights with our airline points. And another great thing about Flying Southwest is that they don't charge for our suitcase, so that's another expense averted. So another thing that you can do is decide on your outfits before you start to pack. This will ensure that your bag is not overweight and that you are only packing what you need. One thing I'll do for my girls is I'll put their outfits in a gallon Ziploc bag. This helps me out because all I have to do is pick up one of the bags and they have an entire outfit that they can put on and they're ready to go. Another thing I'll do is I'll take out some of the heavier items like boots. I might wear them on the plane or a jacket. I might put it in my carry-on bag just to ensure that my checked-in luggage isn't too heavy. This is a great way to make sure that I don't end up paying an additional $50 because my bag is too heavy. And the last tip that I have is to use cash envelopes. I love spending cash whenever I am out and about. I will have some money that is set aside into my bank account and anything that I have put and set aside in my account, I will mark it with the letter A to make sure that I know that that money is set aside in my account on my budget, but everything else will go into cash envelopes. Usually I'll take out a marker and just jot down the different categories that I have on each colorful envelope, and then I will take out whatever ones I need during my trip. I love using cash because this is a great way to make sure we don't overspend. About two years ago, I did use my credit card instead of using cash and we ended up going over our budget by like $400. So I'm hoping this time that sticking to cash only will help us stay on track. So we'll be going for seven days in Maryland and I'm gonna keep you updated on our travel spending vlog. We're planning on vlogging the entire time while we're there to kind of let you know how we're doing with our money. As you can see, our entire budget was 2,200, but since we didn't have to pay for airfare, we're taking out that um, 1,200 and then we have an additional a uh, thousand that we have set aside for the spending categories that we have set up. So I'm gonna take out the cash and stuff the cash envelopes and I'm also gonna keep you guys updated throughout the course of the week on how we're doing on our spending. And at the end of the week, we will have a full video on my estimated amount and my actual amount. So until then, if you wanna see a more day-to-day uh, -day update of how we're doing, make sure that you're following me on Instagram at The Organized Money and until then, I will see you in the next video. Keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.